Hey guys, Mr. Shore Hitter here. I hope you can hear me because I'm out on one of the windiest days that I've played golf in. Today's video, a requested video for Subscriber Sunday. I'm gonna play a little golf and go over some golf rules for you. The first thing is when you play, you wanna make sure you identify your ball. Got a strict sign four here with some orange lines on it. I think they used to be red. Got that ball up in the air, blew it out to the right, and the tree's on the right. So what I'm going to do, play a provisional, just in case that ball's lost in the trees. You can play a provisional if the ball's lost in the trees, if you think it might be out of bounds. You cannot, however, play a provisional if you think the ball may be lost in a penalty area. I'm gonna play a Strixon one with this Mr. Short Hitter logo on it. So I'm gonna tell my playing partners I am playing a provisional. I'm gonna tell them it's a Strixon one and the logo on it before I hit. You have to make it clear that you're hitting a provisional. You can't just say, I'm hitting another one. You can't just tee it up. You must let them know you're hitting a provisional and identify that ball. That one's better. We now have a three minute search for lost balls instead of five minutes. We used to have to really worry if we're searching for our own golf ball, but now if somehow we kick our ball in searching for it, we're gonna simply replace it and play on. I think I'm gonna chip out. Let's talk a little bit about penalty areas. Now in penalty areas, as long as we don't disrupt or change the condition of our ball, we can take practice swings just like we were in the fairway. We can ground our club now in a penalty area without fear of a penalty. So in a yellow penalty area, we have two options. If your ball went in the creek here, you want to imagine an imaginary line that goes from that flag through your ball and you can go straight back on that line as far as you can or you can just replay your previous shot. In this instance, that'd be a pretty good spot. In a red penalty area, we have the same two options as we had before. We can go back to our previous shot, which was off the tee, about 210 away. We can take back in line relief. So that would be going that way, but we have an additional option of two clubs where it entered and last crossed the margin of the hazard. So in this instance, we can take two club links and the ball is in play. You're gonna find these hazards a lot when you have hazards that go parallel with the hole. So you don't have to drop it back 300 yards where that hazard starts. You don't have to go all the way back to the tee. You can drop it a little bit closer. And in this instance, it would be a little bit of an advantage because I would either have to drop the ball behind the creek there or go back to the tee. So probably save myself a half a shot here, even though I have a one stroke penalty. Another thing to keep in mind, guys, I drop the ball here and I go walk around looking at the line, looking at the shot, gauge my distance, and I come back and look and the wind blows that ball into the water. I get to actually replace it with no penalty. So guys, this fence is an immovable obstruction. We can't move this without considerable effort. 
if it interferes with our stance, which obviously it does in this instance, or our area of intended swing, which is towards that flag, we're going to get relief from this obstruction. So when we take relief, we need to always make sure we're taking full relief. We get one club length, full relief. So I'm going to say right here, it's no longer in my backswing. That's full relief. So we're going to get one club length from here. So I'll put a T down. No closer to the hole. It's a tough lie. One important thing to know is the distinction between an immovable obstruction, such as that fence, a utility box, some type of building on the course for maintenance versus a fence that designates out of bounds. This fence is an out of bounds fence. So I do not get relief whether this is in my stance or my swing. So my options are going to be to either take an unplayable, two club links, no closer to the hole. Another option is to go back to where we hit our previous shot and play our penalty from there or to play it. So most likely, depending upon how much room you have by this fence, you may just have a little chip shot that turned out pretty good. One of the rules changes that I've kind of grown accustomed to is leaving the flag in because it helps with filming. But one thing that I still haven't gotten accustomed to is the ability to tap down spike marks now. <laughs> I thought I had it. Although it may be hard to contain that urge to tell your playing competitor or partner that's one, actually it's not. You can re-tee with no penalty. If you knock the ball, off the tee with no intention of hitting the ball. As the old rules, you got relief from an embedded ball in the fairway. Now you have relief from a embedded ball anywhere outside of a penalty area or bunker. A couple things to keep in mind on the green is if I hit a shot into the green, the ball stops but it rolls before I've had a chance to mark it. I'm going to play it from the spot where it stopped at. Now, alternatively, if the ball has stopped and I mark it, then I replace it and the ball starts rolling. I get to play it from the spot which it was marked at. Now, every once in a while, the rules can benefit you. If you're a player that gets a little yippy with the chippies, double hit it, it's no longer a penalty. My ball's on this cart path here. I've seen plenty of people get this wrong and just think they're gonna drop it on the clear side so they don't have this tree to deal with. That side is not near its point of relief. But we always have the option of playing it off the path. I bet. So guys, lastly, there used to be a penalty stroke if 
your ball hit you or your equipment or your caddy. And now, unless you intentionally put your equipment somewhere to give you an advantage, there is no penalty if the ball comes back and strikes you. So you can hit your shot with no fear of your ball coming back and striking you. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need a palm away, yeah. Gotta hit more greens.